Hello guys and good morning. Today we are off to a new adventure. This is actually the first big road trip with my new Mercedes C-Class. I took delivery of this car three days ago and now it's time to go on a road trip to Brussels in Belgium. So it's gonna be a long journey and I can't wait to see how it feels to drive this car on a longer journey. So let's hit the road now. And here you can see everything fits without any problems, huge amount of room still left. Of course, when I compare this to my previous car, the Mini Cooper, it's obvious that here it's much easier to pack all the things and, uh, you know, to put them in the trunk. And now one practical feature of Mercedes Me app. So I typed my destination in the app which means I didn't need to type it in here. As soon as I entered the car, asked me if I wanted the route guidance, and there we go. 1,277 kilometers to go. Routing, when packing the car I also went for the head-up display which is very useful especially on the road trips Next thing to do is to buy the vignettes for Austria and Slovenia, of course. Slovenia now only has digital vignette. And for Austria, you can choose whether you want digital one or this sticker. I quite like this sticker, but I'm sure some of you will say, don't put it. I mean, you should went for the digital vignette, but yeah, I find this cool. New country on our trip, Austria. Quick stop in Austria, beautiful scenery around us. And you can see that the car is already filthy from salt. And it is so comfortable to drive in this car. Really amazing and uh, definitely covering these kind of uh, kilometers and these kind of road trips is no problem whatsoever. Look at this from this angle, filthy. But it looks like it is being used properly. So that is how it should be. 534 kilometers on the clock but I want to show you the consumption on the trip we covered a bit more than 306 because I forgot to reset it but yeah you see seven liters consumption of course this is Austria and Slovenia strict rules and everything you know uh, within the speed limits of course but this is really impressive 7.1 liter truck full of new Toyota Supras nice specs some lucky owners will soon be driving their models enter Germany we are now on the de-restricted part of the Autobahn as you can see by the sign that we have on the digital cockpit but unfortunately my car only has around 400 500 kilometers now which means I can't push it yet. But on the way back, I think I will be able to uh, try higher speeds as well. But the thing is, uh, I have the winter tires, so the limit is 100, 240 because of the tires, and the car is capable of doing 250 kilometers per hour. And we come to a first fuel stop of the day. I think this will actually be the only one because look at this. So just a second, let me find this. This is from Reset, 7.2 liters consumption, seven hours and 22 minutes. 
we covered 727 kilometers and overall the trip is a bit longer so i think it's here 764 kilometers so really great number and you see that we still have 77 kilometers of range but the next petrol station was 50 kilometers away so i decided to come here they also have 102 octane fuel it is very windy and the car is filthy we're gonna fill it up with 102 octane fuel so let's go and as expected the price not cheap two euros Fifty-eight liters in total. Seven liters is the reserve, which just uh, you know, started before we entered this petrol station. Sixty-five liters of fuel tank, which is really nice and decent, and allows a lot of kilometers on a single tank of fuel. So now that we covered the first 1000 kilometers, we can put it to Sport Plus. We have the artificial sound. And this is just awesome. Relax, the drive continues. We have 257 kilometers to go to reach Brussels. This is the de-restricted section, so let's put the throttle on. Sport blast mode. Very impressive. You also hear the artificial sound coming from the speakers. You can turn it on or off, depending on whether you prefer it or not. I really find it very cool and I will definitely the road for keep, it, keep it on. Anyway, we are approaching Belgium soon, I think. 161 kilometers to reach Brussels. And finally, we made it. Let's take a look at the details here. 4.7 liters per 100 kilometers. That's the average consumption on the trip. 1,232 kilometers. I told you that I reset this a bit later after like 40 kilometers on the road. But yeah, I think this is really a good result for 258 horsepower petrol mild hybrid. So it's got 258 plus additional 20 horsepower from EQ Boost. And this is how we're going to end the vlog. Went for a drive in the city center. I'm gonna find the garage now and park it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to see more videos coming from the Brussels Car Show and see you on the next one. Bye bye.